Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Evelyn and Luna here. First things first, a huge thank you once again for all of your continued support. I've been getting quite a lot of questions recently about how I wear and style hair scarves. You might already be aware that I do have a video on how to create your own hair scarves. A card is above. But I thought this week I would share with you an extended style video. So here is how to style and use vintage hair scarves. Enjoy! A jazzy knotted headband like this me made one here is great for a variety of hairstyles including this low side chignon I'm wearing here but I've also found that they're completely invaluable when it comes to holding back your fringe or hair in place while you are doing your daily skincare routine or applying your makeup. This style of headband is also a go-to for me on my tougher or lazier days. Simply brush your hair, pop on a headband and you're ready to go. Square scarves can be tremendous fun and there's so many ways to wear them, so let's check out a few. Taking your square scarf, fold it in half to create a triangle, then rolling this up to create a long thin rectangle of sorts. Tie this around your neck to create a beautiful necktie. Think Audrey Hepburn in Roman Holiday. messy bun day coming on? Then let's grab our square scarf and jazz it up a bit. Once again folding your hair scarf in half to create a triangle, place the folded edge at the nape of your neck and tie the scarf at the crown of your head like so. You can even create a beautiful bow at the top. And there you have it, a really quick and easy way to make that messy bun a little bit more appealing. that scarf and placing the approximate centre at the nape of your neck, simply tie the scarf at the top of your head in a pretty bow. Nice and simple but it looks great. Roll up your scarf to create a simple headband that you can tie at the nape of your neck like so. Keeping your scarf as a square, place one edge at the front of your head and tie it behind your neck like so. Twist the remaining ends of the scarf around your bun, taking a hair elastic to secure it in place. With 
your hair in a low side bun, once again take your square scarf and tie it at the base of your neck, this time gathering all the excess and wrapping it around that side bun, securing it in place with a hair elastic. Folding your scarf in half to form a triangle, place the folded edge at the front of your head, tying the scarf at the base of your neck like so. My favourite way to style and use long scarves is by using them like an Alice band by simply tying them at the nape of my neck like so, but I also love wearing them as belts. Some ways of styling these longer scarves are even multitasking. Taking the scarf like so, I am wrapping small sections of my hair around the scarf, then securing the ends with a hair elastic. Continuing to twist the scarf ends, I then take them to the back of my head, tying them in place. If I do this with damp hair and leave it overnight, these are the results. Curling your hair with a scarf? You betcha. Now it's time for a speeded up brush out. Who else wishes that it really did take this time? I hope you enjoyed coming along with Luna and I on this little scarf wearing journey this week. It occurred to me that I hadn't shared all of my scarf styling tips on my channel so I thought I'd better do so, particularly since these scarves are a great way to accessorise and style the summer casual wardrobe that we are creating. I hope you have a great week. Please take care whatever you do. And from Luna and I, till next week, bye-bye friends. Bye.